Standard 7, Subject Maths, Chapter 8, Algebraic Expressions and Operations on Them, Practice Set 34. Dear students, in the previous practice set, you learned how to add algebraic expressions. So today we are going to learn subtraction of algebraic expressions. Here you can see one example. The question is, subtract the second expression from the first. So you can see two expressions are given here. The first one is 16x plus 23y plus 12z. And the other expression is 9x minus 27y plus 14z. Altogether, you can solve this sum by two methods. One is horizontal arrangement and the second one is vertical arrangement. So, let's see the horizontal arrangement. You will take the expressions in bracket and put a minus sign in between them. Since the question is asking subtraction, so we will subtract them. When subtracting, the first step is to write the first expression as it is without brackets. So, we write 16x plus 23y plus 12z. Now, since we have to subtract, we will change the signs of each term in the second bracket and then write down without bracket. So, 9x will be minus 9x, minus 27y will become plus 27y, plus 14z will become minus 14z. So, we have written the opposite sign of the terms which are there in the second bracket while opening the brackets. So, this is the only additional step that you have to do while subtracting, in t, uh, subtracting the algebraic expressions. Now, we will group the like terms together as you did for addition of algebraic expressions. So, 16x minus 9x comes in one bracket plus 23y plus 27y is in another bracket plus 12z minus 14z is in the last bracket. You will notice that we have put addition signs in between them. So, in subtraction, we change the signs of the expression that has to be subtracted. All the terms which are there in the expression that has to be subtracted. And then we group the like terms together and put an addition sign in between them. And now we calculate 16 minus 9 is 7, so 7x plus 23 plus 27 is 50, 50y minus 2z. 14 minus 12 is 2 and sign of greater number is minus, so minus 2z. So this way, the last two steps you will solve just like addition. The only difference for subtraction is the terms which are in second bracket, you have to change the signs. If negative term is there, you will make it positive. If positive term is there, you will make it negative. And then the rest of the steps are as same as the addition. Like you will group the like terms and then solve. Alright. Vertical arrangement is you arrange them vertically. The expression first expression and then the second expression. And since you are subtracting, you will change the signs of all the terms in the second expression. So, plus 9x, you will circle the plus sign and write minus. Means you are changing it to negative. Minus 27y will become plus 27y and plus 14z will become minus 14z. And then you will carry out the operations. Plus and minus is minus. 14 minus 12, 2. And sign of greater number, minus. So, minus 2z. 23 plus 27, 50y. 16 minus 9, 7x. So, accordingly, change the sign of every term in the expression to be subtracted and then add the two expressions. So, now let us have a look at practice set 34. It says, Subtract the second expression from the first. Altogether, we have five questions here. So, let's start. The first sum. There are two expressions to be subtracted. So, we write down 
फोर एक्स वाई एज इट इज माइनस नाइन जेड ऑल्सो एज इट इज नाउ वेन ओपनिंग द सेकेंड ब्रैकेट यू विल हैव टू चेंज द साइंस थ्री एक्स वाई इज पॉजिटिव यू विल राइट एज नेगेटिव सो माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई एंड माइनस सिक्सटीन जेड यू विल राइट एज प्लस सिक्सटीन जेड नाउ वी विल ग्रुप द लाइक टर्म्स टूगेदर फोर एक्स वाई माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई इन वन ब्रैकेट प्लस सिक्सटीन जेड माइनस नाइन जेड इन अनदर ब्रैकेट नाउ यू विल राइट द साइंस एज इट इज विद द टर्म्स ओनली एडिशन साइंस विल बी देयर साइन विल बी देयर बिटवीन द टू ब्रैकेट्स नाउ फोर एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई फोर एक्स वाई माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई गिवज यू वन एक्स वाई सो वी राइट जस्ट एक्स वाई प्लस सिक्सटीन माइनस नाइन इज सेवन सो सेवन जेड सो योर फाइनल आंसर एक्स वाई प्लस सेवन जेड सेकेंड सम द फर्स्ट टर्म माइनस द सेकेंड टर्म first expression minus the second expression rather so now what you are going to do the first expression you will write all the terms as it is so 5x plus 4y plus 7z we are opening brackets here now while opening the brackets of second expression you will change the sign so minus x minus 2y and minus 3z you will write as your first step now group the like terms together 5x minus x in one bracket plus remember you will put addition sign in another bracket we have 4y minus 2y plus 7z minus 3z the signs which the terms bear remains the same now in this step so now 5x minus 6x minus x is 4x plus 4y minus 2y Yes, you get two y plus two y, and seven z minus three z is plus four z. So you got your final answer. So basically, subtraction of algebraic expression is to just change the sign of the second expression, and then group the like terms together, and put addition sign between the term between the expressions. Okay. Third sum. Fourteen x square plus eight x y plus three y square in one bracket minus twenty six x square minus eight x y minus seventeen y square in second bracket. So first step will be yes. Write down the terms from first expression as it is. So fourteen x square plus eight x y plus three y square we wrote down. Now we will change the signs of all the terms from second expression. So minus twenty six x square plus eight x y plus seventeen y square we get in the first step. Second step is to group the like terms. So fourteen x square minus twenty six x square we group it together along with its signs from the first step. Plus eight x y plus eight x y is the second bracket. Plus three y square plus seventeen y square is your third bracket. Now we have to solve it. Fourteen minus twenty-six plus and minus minus twenty-six minus fourteen is twelve. And since the greater number is negative, minus twenty-six, so answer will also be minus twelve. X square remains the variable. Plus eight plus eight is sixteen, so sixteen x y. And seventeen plus three is twenty, so plus twenty y square. So final answer. Minus twelve x square plus sixteen y plus twenty y square. Fourth sum, six x square plus seven x y plus sixteen y square minus the next expression sixteen x square minus seventeen x y. First step, write the terms from the expression that you see first as it is. X square plus seven x y plus sixteen y square. Now you look at the second expression and write the terms from the second expression expression by changing their signs. So sixteen x square becomes minus sixteen x square. Minus seventeen x y we will write as plus seventeen x y. Now it's time to write the second step where you will group the like terms together. 
सो सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्सटीन एक्स स्क्वायर इन वन ब्रैकेट प्लस सेवन एक्स वाई प्लस सेवनटीन एक्स वाई इन वन ब्रैकेट प्लस सिक्सटीन वाई स्क्वायर सिंस इट हैज़ नो अदर लाइक टर्म टू बी ग्रुप्ड विथ वी लीव इट और अदर वी राइट इट एज इट इज नाउ लेट सॉल्व सिक्स माइनस सिक्सटीन प्लस एंड माइनस ऑपरेशन माइनस सिक्सटीन माइनस सिक्स टेन एंड साइन विल बी माइनस बिकॉज सिक्सटीन इज ग्रेटर एंड इट इज नेगेटिव सो माइनस टेन एक्स स्क्वायर सेवनटीन प्लस सेवन इज ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स वाई सो प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स वाई प्लस सिक्सटीन वाई स्क्वायर एज इट इज सो फाइनल आंसर यू गेट इज माइनस टेन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स वाई प्लस सिक्सटीन वाई स्क्वायर The fifth sum, four x plus sixteen z minus nineteen y minus fourteen z plus sixteen x. First step, four x plus sixteen z as it is. From second expression, change the signs of each and every term. Nineteen y will become minus nineteen y, minus fourteen z will become plus fourteen z. And plus sixteen z is becoming minus sixteen sixteen x. Plus sixteen x we write as minus sixteen x. So here we are just changing the signs of second expression while subtracting algebraic expressions. Now we group the like terms together. So four x minus sixteen x in one bracket, plus sixteen z plus fourteen z in another bracket, minus nineteen y. There is no other like term, so we write it as it is. Is equal to sixteen minus four is minus twelve because it is minus sixteen. Sign of greater will be minus, so minus in the answer also minus twelve x. Sixteen plus fourteen is thirty, so third plus thirty z, and minus nineteen y as it is. So your final answer is minus twelve x plus thirty z. Minus nineteen y. So this was a very simple practice set, just similar to addition. Only difference is you have to change the signs in the first step of the second expression, and then group the like terms together and solve it. So I hope you have followed this practice set. Do practice the sums in your book. Stay safe. Keep learning, and. Thank you